So the sixth line that we have on our list is the Chancellor. And Chancellor, uh, as of the 2017 vintage, which is this one, became the most important variety that we grow on our property. Now, we've been growing Chancellor for 38 years now, 38 years, then 35 years. And it always was a variety that it was missing something. It just had a lot of acidity and uh, it was not something that we typically did as a single varietal. And in 2017, I, I started working with my grandparents on a more uh, comprehensive basis. And I spent a lot of time in the vineyard hedging and crop thinning and making sure that the qu the quality of the crop was was phenomenal and it actually was the highest quality vintage we had in 35 years so i i was really proud of it i mean it was the first time i really got to work with the red from literally from uh the inception to uh to the bottle and you know, something that we do in our family in terms of producing wine and that a philosophy my grandfather has shared with me is to keep things minimal. I mean, you want to try to taste the fruit because that's what you're drinking, right? And we do a lot of uh, our aging of our, of our red wines in, in barrels and usually like neutral barrel. So for this one, it was a barrel aged for about 10 months. Uh, and it really showcased some beautiful pomegranate, raspberry, rose petal characteristics. It's lighter body that's more on the along the lines of like a Pinot Noir or Gamay, if you're familiar, um, or even Grenache, because the, the tannins are just so subtle. So uh, I would actually really recommend it uh, for pairing with like pork belly or uh, fattier meat. And it's become just really our, one of our favorite red varieties. It's, it's a good every, you know, a sommelier told me it was like a Wednesday night wine where you're not sure what you're gonna eat, not sure what you're gonna drink, but it fills the bill. So I hope you enjoy it. I, I'm excited for the 2020 vintage. Let's just keep everything crossed and knock on wood that um, the weather is great and that we have a phenomenal vintage. So actually, after you're done trying the wines, uh, we're in Verizon and it's getting close to harvest. So if you look at your trusty map, uh, you'll see the Chancellor and you can go take a walk and see some 38 year old vines in fruit in fruiting uh, and turning in from green to the purplish, which is called Verizon, the final swell and, and really just enjoy where the, where the wine was conceived. So uh, we're close to harvest. It's probably about 50 days away uh, for that variety. So I hope you enjoy.